fingerprint sensor is our line of defense. We trust it, no questions asked. But this couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, with some skill and patience, it can be bypassed. All you need is a fingerprint, some silicon dye, and voila, your security is officially doomed. Don't believe us? Well, have a look for yourself, as we try to cheat a fingerprint sensor. Mobile security has come a long way. These days, passcodes and passwords just won't do the job. You need something a little bit more secure. Something like a fingerprint scanner, for example. Now, fingerprint scanners, of course, you know, do a good job. They have been there for some time now, and we don't really doubt it. And why should we? Because at the end of the day, no two people in the world can have the same fingerprint, not even twins. So to be fair, they should be pretty foolproof, right? Okay, so as promised, we're going to try to hack into an iPhone. So what do you need? Well, obviously you need an iPhone, that would help. Uh, you need some Play-Doh or some plasticine. Uh, you need glue, preferably white, and some uh, ordinary water, okay? So this is what you do. Uh, you take your thumb, you dip it into the water, just uh, dry tap it a little bit, uh, take the plasticine, and then just make a thumbprint as hard as you can, okay? Do it one more time just to be safe. And then you take the glue and you put it on the plasticine. And that's pretty much it. Once that's done, you have to uh, let it dry for about an hour or so. So obviously we don't have an hour, so we took the liberty and made another one. And we're now gonna try to see if it works. So you have to actually peel this off, uh, the glue. Gonna try to peel it off now. Okay, uh, now time for the moment of truth. Let's see if this works or not. Okay, we're gonna try to uh, see if we can actually unlock my iPhone uh, using nothing but uh, plasticine and some glue. All right, here it goes. Okay, I'm just gonna face it to the camera now so you can see. Nope, absolutely nothing. Well, uh, we were hoping it would work, but it didn't work. And you know, to be fair, I'm not a uh, security expert or a hacker. Uh, but the point here to uh, see was like, you know, wh whether it would work or not. And it seems the iPhone seems to be pretty secure. So, well, too bad. But uh, we still have Sage's phone to try out, right? 